Hello, in this video I'll show how I installed Neo EE and the RC patch on the same computer. Uh, of course, if you don't want to install the RC patch because you don't want to play on Game Ranger, that's fine. You just watch the first part of the video. But if you, obviously, if you want both, let's stick till the end. Um, first things first, if you're gonna follow this guide, make sure you don't have EE installed already. Um, so uninstall it and make sure you. Also delete the Sierra folder here. Um, uh, that's the first thing. The second thing is you need to download E Unlimited Neo E patch and also the RC patch if you want them. If you want that too, so uh, go to Save E for the uh, E Unlimited E uh, E General discussion, and then you find the E unlimited here you can download it from here the patch is on neoe.net just download here and the rc patch rc patch 2.2 just google that the first thing that comes up go here and download um, and then you get these three things first thing we do then to start to start installing is open the uh, EE Unlimited and then hit E installation. Then press setup. I will just keep it simple here and install everything on the uh, uh, default folder. Just next all the way. Don't need a uh, shortcut right now. Just so that's the regular E. Now to install the AOC thing, we need the AOC uh, expansion pack. We need the CD key here. Just open the CD keys. Uh, copy the CD key, then AOC installation, setup, you don't need to put anything on name here, just paste the CD key here, next. Next, all the way. Again, we don't need a uh, shortcut here. We'll get it uh, when we install the Neo E patch, and we also don't need any of, any of these. Just close the uh, README file. So now we have both the regular uh, EE and the AOC installed, but we don't have the patch yet. Um, just close this. 
So now we click on the Neo EE patcher. Uh, English since we install everything on the uh, default uh, destination folder we can just uh, click uh, Express setup here and that's what I recommend really but if you didn't you have to uh, click custom setup and then find it so we'll just I'll show you how to do it but really you just need to click uh, Express and then next but in case anyone installed it somewhere else uh, here is where you change the destination folder of where it is. So you click here to find it. Of course, we're using the default one. Install the Neo E on AOC as well. Uh, next. Right. So now that's all you need to do, really. To get Neo EE for both games. Uh, what I'm gonna show now is to install the game again to be able to install both patches on the same computer. Uh, what I do then is I go to the uh, destination folder of where it's installed and I change the name of this folder. You can change it to whatever you want but I just do Neo EE here. Then we go to control panel, uh, programs, and then we double click on Empire Earth. And then we hit repair. It's very important to not hit remove because obviously you'll remove it. By clicking repair now, um, essentially we're making the computer install Neo E well install Empire Earth again without really touching this folder so it's not gonna ruin the Neo EE. What it will do then is change the will ruin the shortcut but then it will that will fix later. Finish. So as you see here, uh, this is without any patches, and this is with the Neo E uh, patch. One thing we have to do, I think we have to do it, is to open this uh, one lobby in uh, Notepad, and then change the CD uh, key check here from true to false. I'm pretty sure you have to do this, and yeah, so just do that, and uh, it will work online. And save. Um, so now we can install the RC patch on this folder here. So open the RC patch. English so that's the uh, one without any patches So now we have both games. Um, 
for some reason, pe some people have been having trouble. So just to be sure, I like to just do this again. Call this RC or something. And then install it again so we have a clean Empire Earth as the first folder. I don't know why, but this seems to fix uh, some issues. So just to be on the safe side, we'll do this again. So repair again. And by changing the folder again, we ruin this shortcut. So we'll fix those by the end of this video. Well, soon. Um, so yeah, delete uh, these shortcuts. Go here, create shortcut, and then just drag it here. This is in the RC folder, so we call this RC. Call it what you want, but just so you remember that I, this is the one for Game Ranger. Do the same thing here. Create shortcut. Neo E. One thing you might want to do, um, if you don't want the uh, videos whenever you start the game, is so just go to every data file here and delete the movies you don't have to watch those uh, videos every time but you have to do them in all of these games uh, all these folders I mean So yeah, that's it. Um, hope this helps you guys if you had trouble installing. And um, yeah, see you next time. Actually, one thing I forgot um, to set up the Game Ranger. What you have to do here is to make sure Game Ranger knows which Empire Earth he should open. So go to Open Game Ranger, go to Edit, Options. Then scroll down to uh, E, and then find, uh, make sure it's in the right folder here. So I have it set in the right folder, but most likely it will stop there. You have to click on RC patch, and then here. Um, another thing you might want to do is to create a group that you only see the EE games. So click new group here, uh, call it. And then uh, scroll down till you find E. Just click OK, and then you see all the E games only. This is the setup I use anyway. Also, you might look at this shortcut and think maybe something's wrong with it. No, it's not. Nothing's wrong with it. It works completely fine. All these games worked. So uh, yeah, now the video's over.